Charles Darwin is credited with the idea that life on Earth evolved in shallow pools of water. Now, a new study published in Nature, Ecology, and Evolution suggests that instead of life originating in a warm little pond, that subterranean, deep-sea environments with no exposure to sunlight still had the heat and alkalinity necessary to start life. The study's lead author, University College London professor Nick Lane, said, and I quote, There are multiple competing theories as to where and how life started, and underwater hypothermal vents are among the most promising locations for life's beginnings, our findings now add weight to the theory with solid experimental evidence." End quote. Lane and other researchers were able to recreate an environment similar to the deep sea vents using protocells with a mixture of different fatty acids and fatty alcohols that previous unsuccessful experiments did not use. Lane noted that since deep sea hydrothermal vents may be responsible for the origin of life on Earth, it could have implications for life on other planets, such as locations where these vents are elsewhere in the solar system. In other words, Mars could harbor subterranean life even with no visible trees or ocean on the surface and still sustain a viable food chain. Phytoplankton, kelp, and algae produce oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis, a process which converts carbon dioxide and light into sugars which are then used for energy. While the process of photosynthesis usually implies the presence of sunlight, the sun is not the only available light or energy source able to power photosynthesis. Before the discovery of hydrothermal vents and their ecosystems, scientists believed that only small animals lived at the ocean bottom, in seafloor sediments. They theorized that these animals received their food from above because the established model of the marine food chain depended on sunlight and photosynthesis, just as the food chain on land does. Mainstream academia taught that this was the only way life could survive in the darkness of the deep sea floor. The discovery of hydrothermal vents changed all that. It became clear that vast communities of animals grew quickly and to larger than expected sizes in the depths without the aid of the sun. Instead of using light to create organic material, which is photosynthesis, microorganisms at the bottom of the food chain at hydrothermal vents used chemicals such as hydrogen sulfide, which is chemosynthesis. At the seafloor, there are thriving ecosystems that receive energy not from the sun, but from the heat and chemicals provided by the planet itself. For many thousands of species dwelling in the deep, the energy to sustain life does not flow down from above, but comes up from the interior of the earth. Even in the unlikely scenario where every tree were to be chopped down, we would still be able to breathe thanks to aquatic plant life, for example, algae, and the earth has a tremendous amount of water and these oceans, rivers, and lakes are teeming with numerous species of biologically active, oxygen-producing organisms. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an anthropologist. Please take a look at my published work on Amazon.com. Thank you to those who share these videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Have a great week and I hope to see you again soon.